Yorkshire still have chances of enforcing the follow-on on the final day of their crucial LV County Championship match against second division leaders Derbyshire, in spite of a fight back by the visitors to Headingley on day three. After a slightly delayed start, Derbyshire resumed their first innings on 28 for one in reply to their hosts 420, but they soon found themselves in some trouble. Low knee Andrew Hodd took a stunning legside catch to remove Usman Kawaja. Hard then had a simpler chance to get rid of Matt Lineker as Ryan Sidebottom found the perfect line and length for his outswingers. It was an outstanding early spell from Sidebottom who claimed three for nine in seven overs, his third victim being Dan Redfern who gave Hard his third catch of the morning. That left Derbyshire reeling somewhat on 42 for four with the initial target of avoiding the follow-on a long, long way off. Indeed, they needed to get to 271 to do that but one man who certainly hadn't given up on getting there at least was Wes Durston. He's having a cracking season with the bat and indeed with his off spinners after taking a fifer in Yorkshire's first innings. He rode his luck early on but then started to belt the ball to all parts. He was supported well by Ross Whiteley who, although far more defensive minded, tried not to miss out on any four balls. Durston got to his 50 before the lunch break. It was the fifth time he'd made it to a half century this season and this one had come off only 66 deliveries in spite of the ball nipping about. Lunch was followed by a fascinating battle between Durston and Tim Bresnan, who may have felt that he should have been down at Lords taking on the South Africans. Not that he found Durston much fun to bowl at, as the former Somerset man was taking him on and winning the contest, sometimes with a streaky, sometimes with a stupendous. Derbyshire had needed a partnership to keep themselves out of trouble and Whiteley supplied the stubbornness to Durston's daring. He enjoyed himself mostly against Adil Rashid as he helped Durston put on a stand into three figures. In fact, the partnership was worth 112 but was ended when Azim Rafiq found enough turn to beat Durston's defences as he was bowled for 84. Soon afterwards, the players left the field for yet more rain with Derbyshire on 163 for five and when they returned, they knew just how important this last session was going to be. The total of 271 would have been burning their brains as, if they could get there, then it would be very difficult for Yorkshire to win this important game. Whiteley and David Wainwright took them to within 97 runs of that target, but then the former edged Stephen Patterson behind to end his 120-ball stay on 35. So the follow-on now looked likely, although Tom Poynton had other ideas. He dealt mostly in boundaries as Yorkshire attacked and with the former Yorkshire player Wainwright for company, he just started to put a dent into the deficit. He and Wainwright now took Derbyshire to within 46 runs of that 271. But two wickets late in the day has now made Yorkshire favourites. On 25, Poynton was given out LBW to Azim Rafiq. Then in the next over, Tony Palladino went in the same way off Rashid to leave the visitors on 226 for eight and the second new ball was due. Wainwright, who has plenty to prove against this opposition, now holds the key. He has 45 runs to his name and now needs to protect both Tim Grunewald and Mark Turner. He'll resume with his side on 233 for eight, 38 more runs wanted to avoid the crucial follow-on.